You all know how sodium reacts with water. It's kind of a must-do for every chemist. So I also took a closer look at the reaction, but mainly to confirm Thunderfoot's experiments. And here you see the sodium explosion in a beak of water. The water was hot about 80 degrees C. You can clearly see the Coulomb explosion of the metal and not the hydrogen that is exploding. And here are some more shots with a much higher frame rate. In the upper left corner the sodium reacts in a very violent explosion. The front of the explosion moves at about half the speed of sound. But again you can see first the sodium exploding and then the flames shooting out. In the lower right here it reacts very smoothly and only forms a little bubble and the sodium doesn't really explode. And then the other two react about the same way. The sodium explodes, flies up and the bubble forms beneath it in the water. At a later time you see the bubble bursting and then the flame starts. So overall it is very clear that the theory was right. The sodium explodes in a Coulomb explosion and only after that the hydrogen catches fire. You could see it very clear in the upper right and the bottom left one. There the sodium did explode but until now there was no flame. Only now you can see the bubble bursting and the hydrogen in it getting ignited due to small pieces of sodium left. But if you look at the timestamp, you see there's only milliseconds between these events. So if you see this in real time, you can't really say if the sodium explodes first or the hydrogen. You can only now see it in the high speed footage. Now if you have any suggestion on what I could do in further videos, please leave it in the comments below. Here are some other videos you may enjoy and if you want to catch more you can subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video please write or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.